Hey y'all, my name is Jasmine Jones. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and you are now watching Black Girl Therapists in the Wild. And I kind of wanted to steer away from this topic because it's been in the media so much. It's so sensationalized. But I feel like since it has to do with mental health, why not comment a little bit on it? So recently as most of the world knows Kanye West has been in the news he he you know thinks he can be president he did a presidential rally he spouted off a bunch of nonsense I'm not going to necessarily go into what he said but I do want to comment on the mental health portion of it I don't tend to like to talk about real people <laughs> and their mental health issues but since he has stated that he was diagnosed with bipolar let's go into why what we're seeing may be happening so when you have a manic episode I don't know which bipolar he has but let's go with bipolar one since he seems to have these sporadic episodes um, his family says that he has them at least once a year and we've seen that at least once a year he will say or do something that makes absolutely no sense <laughs> and uh, it's kind of disturbing so when you have these manic episodes, you often will have these high grandiose delusions. People with ma with mania will often believe that they're super rich and so they will run up all their credit cards and buy a whole bunch of things and not remember what or not not be in control of what they're doing during the time of it. So him believing that he can be president is for the par of mania. You know, you might believe that you can be president. You might believe that you can be the CEO of a Fortune 500 corporation if you get this product that you have in your mind out there. And then you might, you know, have these grandiose illusions that it will happen, even though you 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 don't necessarily put in the work it's not making sense it's not doing the things that it's supposed to be doing you're just kind of believing these things and then making impulsive decisions on how you want it to be done whether that's running up credit cards or selling all your things or you know things like that so it's par for the core um uh, the only thing is is that he is rich and powerful so Money, and this is why, you know, when I think of the type of people I want in my life, or I think of the type of boundaries that I want to have, I include everything as a package. You know, financial stability is only a part of the package because money does not get rid of the issues that you may have had before it or have during it mental health issues trauma issues it just gives you a larger platform to express those issues so because he's almost a billionaire or is a billionaire or whatever he can spend all this money buy all these people and do whatever he wants to kind of push forward his delusions you know, his delusions of grandeur, his delusions of and his beliefs that he can be the president of the United States with no, you know, political background, no real political knowledge and things like that. Um, that's why you see he, him ranting and raving about things that don't make sense. But in his mind, they do make sense. Um, and then when you have people around you that may encourage this, so they said Caitlyn Jenner, I don't know if she jokingly said or whatever that she would be his running mate. In therapy, when somebody that is in mania or has a psychosis, has a delusion, sees or hears things that no one else can see or hear, things that, you know, don't make sense to most people. <laughs> um, when those type of people are in therapy, the ther as a therapist, you do not give in to the delusions at all because even the slightest give is proof for that person that their delusions are real. So you build on skills. You build on learning how to deal with, you know, or learning how to understand what your triggers are, learning how to understand what the problems are that are going on in your life that may have led up to this moment of mania or psychosis or anything like that. Because you can have psychosis, which is delusions, um, 
hallucinations and things like that within bipolar as well um so you never give in to the delusion so if Caitlyn can go on television or whatever she went on to say that she would be his running mate then that is even slightly that is enough to push that that that, that could be enough to push that person over the edge and then we get into the topic of racism and how he doesn't like black women and how he's been kind of messed up in the head since his mom died and things like that there is no diagnosis for racism are for colorism okay so either in his lucid mind when he's not going through mania he may have some beliefs that are not okay that can then get exacerbated in his manic mind so you, so if you have a slight belief that you know black women are beneath you or you know black people are less than or a self-hatred i don't like myself i don't like my skin color but you kind of keep that on the low for the most part you can kind of control that enough to not make these big giant you know parades of issues in your manic mind, you totally lose control of that. All of your base inner negative thoughts, negative feelings come out and you lose control of that. Now, this is not to excuse his behavior, excuse his diagnosis, um, or excuse his behavior because of his diagnosis. This is to say because most people, a lot of people, um, he is aware that he is bipolar. He has you know said in interviews that he is bipolar his family has said that he is bipolar so when you have a mental health issue you tend to be aware of it no matter how deep the issue is you do have moments periods where you're lucid and can look back on your behaviors sometimes people don't remember what they did in mania but they but the evidence of what they did is there so videos and things like that and they feel a type of way about the fact that they are presented that way when they're manic and they go get help so at some point he he felt a type of way his family felt a type of way and he went and got help um <laughs> I'm not going to guess into what his help is looking like because although people can be on medication and taking and going to therapy for their bipolar disorder, medication is not a cure most of the time. You know, I've had clients, I've had friends who are bipolar. They still had manic episodes that they could not control, you know, and so it could very well be that he is going to therapy he is taking his medication but you know at some point the medication did not work i think his family mentioned that um at least once a year he will have these episodes so it could be that the medication got it down to once a year but then it just kind of depends on how long do the episodes last does he need to go back in to get his medication seen again and when somebody is powerful and also has mania Yes, the family should be putting him in a conservatorship. Yes, the family should be trying, but who says they're not? I mean, I can't say that they're not. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Kardashians, but that doesn't mean that they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> when you have money and power like that, and you're very aggressive, and you're masculine pre presenting... I mean, uh, there's only so much that you can do. It's kind of like if you have an addict in the family and you can't make that addict do anything you know um conservatorships is a our long process so I, i'm not going to blame the family because i've worked with a lot of different families with family members with issues similar to this and i've seen the struggle so you know it's not as easy as you think it would be when somebody believes something and will wholeheartedly jump into it and then cuss you out and break your stuff and destroy things and leave for weeks or months at a time and you don't know where they're at and they still have control of their own money to do what they want to do <laughs> so you know you have to kind of consider it that way um like I said, it's not an excuse. It's more so an understanding of what are your triggers. 
going to therapy on a regular basis, very regular basis, maybe more than once a week, maybe two, two, three times a week, you know, um, and when you are in your sober mind, creating some kind of system where your family can have you committed if you do have these exorbitant um, uh, mental health breakdowns, especially since you are on such a large platform in public. Like I said, money only gives you the platform to... Uh, spread your issues around if you do not work on your issues then money's not going to make them go away money's not going to make that pain go away there's no quick answer to make your stuff go away no no drug no no sex <laughs> no financial stability it's all about learning to accept who you are as a person accept the help that you need possibly on a regular basis and going out and getting that help. And that's basically all you can really do when it comes to mental health, when it comes to self-esteem, when it comes to how, how you deal with everything. So yeah, I mean, there's no excuse for this because he knew years ago he had this, he's had um, uh, breakdowns before that were somewhat similar to the well this is this is the biggest thing he's done and I think that be, having bipolar and being in a pandemic where you can't do anything like you know you can't go anywhere you can't I mean that, that would probably I that might be why this is exacerbated and looking even worse than it, it usually does where before it was maybe like a picture with Trump or a random tweet or he would randomly say something at one of his events where he was showing off his clothes. So when somebody's manic like this, it's kind of like a train that you can't stop. It just has to stop on its own um, unless you force them into a mental facility um grown man with damn near a billion dollars in his bank account <laughs> i don't know how easy that's going to be um but at the end of the day he should have been working on this he should have had contingency plans i mean i know people that will freeze their credit card like they will put their credit card on ice like the, the, in a cup of water and put it in the freezer and freeze it if you know uh, and only use it when they when it's necessary to be used. Um, they won't have it on any of any accounts, no PayPal or anything like that. So if they do, by the chance, have a manic episode, they can't access it. I mean, it'll be really hard to access their money. You know, people prepare for things like this, so it's very toxic and disheartening to see that you have such a large platform and can influence so many people. And you know that you have this issue where you can have delusions of grandeur, you can have, you know, you can become hysterical, you can uh, become very aggressive and things like that. And you don't have, it, it's not, you don't have any contingency plans to stop this behavior. And then you have a family member saying that they'll be your running mate. So I'm wondering what is the um, rest of the family saying about his behavior or how are they treating it or what are they doing with it when you have a family member with deep mental health issues it's hard it's hard you know it doesn't mean that he can't get back to sanity it doesn't mean that he has to stay this way forever it just means that you have to be hard and fast and strict with every boundary and every rule that you have around this issue for yourself. And then as far as what you're going to allow your family to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's weird because I'm seeing a lot of things on the internet saying, you know, you shouldn't blame mental health and it's not, it, it's, it's ableist and things like that. It is ableist because there's a lot of people out there that have this issue and have it under control enough to not do things that will be upsetting. There's people that have money and are rich and have a platform that have bipolar disorder and they don't go, they, they set their life up in a way where they're not going out there and doing things like this. So, so it is ableist because it's basically saying if you have bipolar, then you're just going to end up being this way. Um, there may be points in time where you might 
go into mania. But like I said, most of the time people stop it. Most of the time people do something about it. After the first manic episode, the second manic episode, they do something about it. And then even if they have to work their way up to it, most people that have mania aren't necessarily on this this kind of stage where they can do whatever they want and a lot of people that have mania aren't trying to necessarily if they are on this stage aren't necessarily trying to change the world they may you know party a lot or they may have you know bipolar 2 where their mood changes and they have hypomania which is a lower grade of um mania so I mean, I, I wanted to comment because I just felt like there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now and we don't need this and we need logical and informative information out here about what could be happening. I don't know if everything I said is 100% true, but I'm just going off of, you know, the diagnosis, what I've seen in clients and why it may look like he's not getting the help he needs when he could be he like I said he could be on his medication he could be going to therapy but medication doesn't always work I mean I've known people that take their medication like they're supposed to and they will it lessens the amount of manic manic episodes it doesn't doesn't take them away completely maybe it lessens the frequency and the duration but you still get a manic episode so the fact that his family said that he gets it about once a year I mean it kind of makes sense it makes sense that, you know, maybe he was getting them more, but when he's on medication, he gets them less. Um, I'm not a doctor, of course, but this is what I've observed in, you know, multiple clients that I've had. So, yeah. Stop looking for quick fixes. Embrace whatever you have going on. And set boundaries for yourself and allow people that you care about to help you. That's all I really have to say about that. So, yeah. Later days.